Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Tele Online Tutoring Educational Program of the Department of School Education. I will be teaching mathematics of class 5 here on and we will go along with the first chapter, chapter 3, numbers and operations, page number 11. Uh, before we start off with the chapter, uh, let's look at some, you know, go back and have a review of uh, the previous lessons that we have learned. I'm sure you have all learned of place values. Place values are nothing but ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakh, it goes on. So these place values they play a very important role in numbers and operations. These numbers and operations are nothing but simple additions, subtractions, multiplications, and divisions. So let's uh, look at additions first. The first topic that we are going to deal, is, deal with is additions. Addition is simply adding. It is simply adding two numbers and finding a sum. Simply adding two numbers, which will give you a sum. The end result is called sum. I'm sure you're all aware of this. You have already learned all this in your previous classes. So let's move on to addition. Now, in addition, the place value plays a very important role. Let's see how it works. For instance, I take three-digit number two three digits num three digit numbers let's add them up now before we go there let's look at this this three is at one's place this four and two are at tens place two and three are at hundreds place please keep in mind that your ones tens and hundreds should be in one column Though the numbers may be different, they should be in one column. Column means a vertical line, a straight line. So, 3 and 6 are in 1's place, 4 and 2 are in 10's place, 2 and 3 are in 100's place. Now, they should be in columns. They should be, or they should all be in columns. Columns means vertical, vertical means in a straight line. So, after that, uh, after you have arranged and placed them in this manner, you simply have to do addition. 3 plus 6 is nothing but 9. 4 plus 2 is 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. Now, this is simple addition. <clears throat> and we can see here that uh, place values play a very important role in addition as well as subtraction, which we'll be looking into it later on. Now, when you add, there are two types. The first is adding without regrouping. Adding without regrouping. What does it mean? Adding without regroup, regrouping simply means there will be no carryover. There will be no carryover. That means when you add two numbers, they will not reach 10. They will not be more than 9. Understood? So what? Uh, let's take an example. Uh, 3, 4, 7. 2, 1, 1. When you add this two, this is in 1's place, 10's place, 100's place. So when you add 7 plus 1, you get 8. 4 plus 1, you get 5. 3 plus 2, you get 5. There are no carryovers. All of them are adding up to a single digit number. So this is called regroup, uh, addition without regrouping. Now let's look at addition with regrouping. The next one is addition with regrouping. Adding with regrouping. Now this is exactly the opposite of addition, adding without regrouping. Uh, let's take an example. Three, three, six, four, seven, four. Now let's look at this two numbers. This is at ones place, tens place, and hundreds place. Now when you add six plus four, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You are getting two digits. Now you can't write two digits over here, so you will write the ones place digit over here. Zero, that is zero. In ten, the ones place is zero. The tens place digit is one. So the tens place digit will be your carry over. That means this one will be carried over to tens place. And here you will add them together. Seven plus three is 10, 10 plus one, the carried over is one, so 10 plus one is 11. So we're getting 11 again, two digits. So we will take one here. The other one will be carried over to hundreds place. Now when you add four plus three, seven, seven plus the carried over one, you get eight. So this is all about addition. Subtraction is also very similar. Let's look at it. All right, subtraction. Subtraction we all know is simply to subtract. Subtract, when you subtract two numbers, three minus two, you get an answer. Now when you subtract three minus two, you're getting one. This is called your difference. Difference. The bigger number on top is called your minuend. M-I-N-U-E-N-D, minuend. The number below, the smaller number is called your subtrand. Subtrand. So please try to memorize these names. These are the different names given to uh, the numbers when you subtract them. So you subtract three minus two, you're getting one. This is simple subtraction. Now let's look at the two types of subtraction. The first one is Subtracting without regrouping. Now, it's almost the same as addition without regrouping, but here what happens is there will be no borrowing. In addition, it was carry over. Now there will be no borrowing. Means the, the number on top, if it is seven to nine, the numbers below, sorry, ones, tens, hundred. The next number, in ones place, the number should be smaller than nine. That means it can be anything, seven, maybe. Smaller than two will be one. Smaller than seven, we can put any number, six. So when you subtract without regrouping, there will be no borrowing means direct, directly you can subtract them. Nine minus seven is simply two. Two minus one, one. Seven minus six is? One, So we can see that there is no other uh, <clears throat> uh, process taking place here. Simply you are subtracting, no carryovers, no borrowing, nothing. All right. Now the exact opposite of this is subtracting with regrouping. With regrouping. Now when you subtract with regrouping, Let's take an example, six, seven, five, three, for example, uh, two, eight, four, seven. When you subtract, remember that you have to place them in one's place. The one's place should be together, ten should be together, hundred should be together, thousand should be in the same line. Now, when you look at this subtraction, when you take three, 3 is smaller than 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3 is smaller than 7. So we cannot subtract three, uh, 7 from 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow. Borrow means to take credit. To take credit from the number at tens place. Since <laughs> at ones place, we will borrow from here. So when you borrow from 5, when you borrow 1 from 5, this one's place becomes 13. And here, five will be decreased to four, meaning we will subtract five minus one, we will get four here. Four is left here. So 17 minus, 17 minus, uh, sorry, 13 minus seven is six. Now we have, instead of five, now we will consider four. So four minus four is zero. 
Now again, we come back here. 7 minus 8. 7 is smaller than 8. So we cannot subtract them. So what we're going to do is, again, we will be borrowing. We will borrow 1 from 6. So this will become 17. So 17, if you subtract with 8, you get 9. Now, since you have borrowed 1 from 6, the number remaining is 5. 6 minus 1, you get 5. So when you subtract 5 minus 2, you will get 3. So this is simply subtracting with regrouping. I hope you are clear with this concept. So it's nothing to be uh, confused with. These are simple additions and subtractions with regrouping and without regrouping. So let's look at some problems. Let's turn to exercise uh, question time. It's in page number 15, question time. Now these are some exercises that have been given in the textbook. Uh, let's try to solve some of them. Let's look at first question. Number one, add the following. Add the following, let me write down the question. Number one, add the following. Now for your understanding, I will write here ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh. So this is ones place, tens place, hundred place, thousand place, ten thousand and lakh. So let's look at the first number. Let's try, uh, start with the first number. Three, seven, nine, eight, three and five. The next number, eight is in one place, five in tens place, zero in hundreds place. Likewise, nine in thousand, nine in ten thousand and four in lakh place. You simply have to add them now. Now let's see if this is done without regrouping or with regrouping. Let's have a look at the first uh, two numbers, two digits in one's place. Eight plus three, eight plus three is 11. You're getting 11. Now this is with regrouping, okay? Now we're getting 11, so we will write one's place over here. The tens place you will carry over. It'll be carried over. Now, 3 plus 8 is 11. 1 will be carried over. So, 1 plus 7, 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. We're getting 13 again. 1's place I've written here. The 10's place, it'll be carried over. It'll go with 9. Now, you simply have to add 9 plus 1. So again, you're getting 10. 0 is in 10's place, 1's place. So, you will write 0 here. The 10's place is 1. So, that 1 will be carried over here. So it'll be 1 plus 8 is 9, 9 plus, sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. This is here, all right. 1 plus 8 is 9, 9 plus 9 is 18. We're getting 18, so one's place, you will write here. This one will be carried over again to 10,000 place. Now we add 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 9 is? 13, you're getting 13 again. So three, you write here, this one will be carried over to lag place. So finally, five plus one is six, six plus four is 10. So this is your answer, this is with regrouping. So similarly, uh, you, can, you can go ahead with the, uh, you can try B and C at home. Let's look at the, <coughs> The next question. Let's look at question number five. A nine five eight four three two and six seven eight seven six. Now question number five states find the difference of the following numbers. Find the difference means to subtract minus. All right. Now, we have to know that this is at one's place, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh. Now we will have to subtract them just by simply looking at the first one's digit 
we know that we have to use regrouping. So in regrouping, you have to borrow one from here. It will become 12, this will become two. So 12 minus six is six. Now this two is less than seven again. So I'm going to borrow again from four. I get this as 12. Here I have three remaining. 12 minus seven is five. Now again, three minus eight, it's not possible. So since three is less than eight, so we're going to borrow again. I'm going to get 13 here. 13 minus eight, you get five. Now this here, we have seven left. Now seven minus seven is simply zero. Five minus six, this is not possible again. So we're going to borrow again from nine. So this five will become 15. 15 and 9 will become 8. So your 15 minus 6, you're getting, sorry, 15 minus 6, you'll get 9. And in the last lakhs place, you have 8 remaining. So this 8, there's no number in lakhs place, so it will directly come down. So this is all about addition and subtraction. Please practice uh, these questions. Now, uh, there may be some questions here which will tell you to arrange. Let's look at question number two. Arrange the following numbers in columns and find their sum. Now, when you look at question number two, I'll just give you a hint so that you can do it at home. They have given the question in this manner. Two, six. Now, you have to arrange them in columns. Columns means vertical line. So, simply arrange them in this manner. First, you write down the first number. Next, when you write down the second number, make sure you start from the ones place. Six, two, eight, three, four. Now you add them. Ones, ones, tens, tens, hundreds, hundreds, thousands, thousands, ten thousand, ten thousand, and one. This is how you will be adding uh, the numbers in columns. Simple addition. No uh, other logic required here. You simply have to uh, add all the numbers that are given here in uh, according to your place values. Similarly, for subtraction also, uh, question number six, arrange the following in columns and subtract. I'll, they have given the question in this manner. Now, the trick here, the trick here is, they have not given and, they have given from. So in subtraction, they will give the smaller number first and you have to subtract from the bigger number. So here what we are supposed to do is, you're going to write the second number first and the first number in the second place. Nine, eight, nine, zero, zero, four, six, one. Simply subtract. So this is all about addition and subtraction. I hope uh, you have all understood. Kindly keep practicing and see you in the next class. Thank you.